Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and record from my home studio today. So sitting up tall, left and right sit bones, palms can be facing up or palms facing down as you wish. Feel an opening through your back. Sit up really tall and breathe. What would you like to manifest? What would you like to bring into your body and into your day? Deep breath in, deep breath out. And your next breath in, arms up to sky. Exhale, fingertips facing out. Interlace your hands, palms coming together. Exhale, palms facing out. Push out, breathe. Sitting cat cows, inhale, palms to your heart space. Exhale, press up. Inhale, come in. Exhale, reach. One more breath in. Exhale, reach out long. Inhale, arms up to sky. Exhale, palms down. From here, come and find your tabletop position. Inhale, feel the length as you look up and lift up. Exhale, gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, reach out long. Exhale to neutral spine. Inhale, back stroke your right hand back, fingertips facing your right thigh. Keep a soft bend in your elbow if you hyperextend. Inhale, look up. Exhale, scoop belly in. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, scoop belly in. One more time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, scoop belly in. And then take yourself to neutral. And then forward swing with the right hand. This time, back stroke with the left. As you come back, fingertips facing your left thigh. Again, I encourage you to check in with your body. Inhale as you look up, lift up. Feel that opening off your left collarbone. Exhale, as you protract, look to your belly, feel the shoulder of the left scapula here. Inhale, left collarbone lifts up. Exhale, scoot back. Inhale again, as you look up, find that reach, find that stretch. Exhale, protraction, feel the body here. Come back to neutral. This time, keep the left hand where it is, right hand swims back. Keeping fingertips facing your thigh. Breathe. Inhale, look up, lift up, breathe. Exhale, scoop belly in. Maybe lift your heels or your hands just a bit. I like doing that because I feel a stretch. But you do what is best for you. So you can go as fast or as slow as you wish. Feel your body here as you open and close. One more time as you breathe through your practice, coming up, and then swim the left hand first, forward, and then the right. Feel the opening. Untuck your back toes, and slowly find puppy pose, or Anahatanasana. So as you come here, this may be you today, or maybe chest coming down, chin coming down, open your hands, left to right, Press through the palms of your hands, breathe. I like to spiral my biceps down, triceps up. However, you need to do what feels good for you here. Keep sinking your heart down, all the way down as best as you can. And then when you're ready, take both hands to the mat, slowly coming up, lengthen, and maybe move from side to side. And then when you are ready, tuck your back toes, press back, downward facing dog. Walk your dog if it's the first dog of your day. Do what you need to do. Feel your toes and your heels as you rock forward and back. It's like a rocking downward facing dog with your legs moving forward and back. Next time you're here, press into the palms of your hands, feel the length. Inhale, right leg up to sky. Bend your right knee. Big circles here. Draw big circles. 
And if you circle one direction, circle the opposite direction. Then slowly take the right foot to the outside with the right pinky. I like to bend and stretch here as I welcome my hips to open. Feel the opening of your body. Next time you come forward, reach your heart space forward. Feel the length. And then lengthen the front leg. Melt your spine down. Take another breath here. Exhale, come up. Stay here, pull the chest forward, square your hips. You'll find that your right hip is pulling back, the left hip is pulling forward. One more deep inhale, exhale, press back into three-legged dog, and then downward facing dog. Gaze forward, coming down, knees, chest, chin, Ashtangasana. Untuck your toes, slowly coming up into your cobra posture, breathe. Breath in at the top, breath out as you let it go. Tuck your back toes, coming back through child's pose or push up and then downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up to sky, bend into your left knee and then draw your circles here. Big, big circles and then reverse your circles. Lengthen out. Then slowly pull, take your time, the left knee to the outside of the left pinky. And then shift forward and back, letting your hip open. Move into the breath as you move up and down. The next time you're there, stabilize first. And then lengthen out and maybe melt your spine down. You can flex the front foot or not, whatever feels best for you. And then when you're ready, slowly shift shape forward. And then I encourage you to square your hips, pull the right hip forward, left hip back, lengthen through your heart space, deep breath in, deep breath out. And slowly lift the left leg up, three-legged dog, downward facing dog, Knees, chest, chin, ashtangasana. As you slowly unfurl, coming up into your cobra posture. Lengthen. Exhale, coming down. Tuck your back toes. Coming through a child's pose or push up into downward facing dog. From down dog, gaze forward and tiptoe all the way to the front of the mat. Keep a soft bend in your knees. Slowly come all the way up. Arms up to sky, palms to your heart space. All right, from here, option one. Tree, taking the right foot to your left ankle. Stay here. Maybe calf. Okay, stay here. Never to your knee. You can always take it to the inside of your inner thigh, okay? Or if you have half lotus in your practice, feel free to do so. Balance, breathe, keep the hip rotating externally. If you're in lotus, make sure that the right foot is nestled where your hip crease is. Pressing and lifting up. Feel the length. Sometimes we like to grow our branches. Feel free to do so. Balance. Breathe. Maybe you can challenge your gaze up to sky as you wish. Nice. Take your time. Hands to your heart. If you have lotus, unwind. Taking the right foot forward. If you have tree, unwind, take the right foot forward. I'm going to turn so you can see me. My right foot is forward. See if you can make it 90 degrees as best as you can. It doesn't matter how you look. Just feel the length. Deep inhale. Then exhale, slowly come up into your warrior three. Breathe. Breath in. 
And slowly take the right foot back. Find yourself in a high lunge. Deep inhale. Exhale, toss to your heart space. Gaze forward again. This time, bend like warrior three. Find the balance. Lengthen to warrior three. And then slowly take the right knee into chest. You can hold the right knee with the left hand. You can hold the right foot with the left hand. Lengthen out. Open up. Breathe. And then slowly take the right foot down. Shimmy from side to side. Balancing poses, fantastic to start your day. Left side. So let's go through this again just to make sure we're all together. Left foot can be right where the right ankle is. Perfectly great. Keep an external rotation. Maybe right calf. Still keeping that external rotation. Never to the knee. Maybe you're going to take it to your inner thigh. Stay here. Stay tall. If you have half lotus in your practice, make sure that foot is nestled in that hip crease there. Feel your hip bone. External rotation. Knees coming down. Feel balance. Breathe. If you would like to grow your branches, let's do it. Lengthen up, breathe. Maybe challenge your gaze up to the sky. Be mindful, connect with your breath. Breath in, breath out. Feel balanced. Feel as if you're growing up to the sky. One more inhale. Exhale, take your time. Palms to your heart space. If you have lotus, slowly unwind. Lengthen your leg forward. If you have tree, same thing. Lengthen forward. I'm going to turn. Lengthen forward here, breathe. Then slowly take your time. Control. Balance, warrior three. Maybe taking your hands back. Challenge the gravitational pull and balance by taking your hands forward. Taking your time to take the back foot back. And coming up into your high lunge here, breathe. Breath in, breath out. Palms to your heart space. Gaze forward, gently, with control, bent leg warrior three, and then straighten into warrior three. Take your time, take the left knee up, hold, holding the knee with the right hand, stay here, maybe the foot, maybe kick up, gaze out. Balance, breathe. And then take your time to come down. And then pedal your legs. You'll notice I have a slight instability because I have had a hip injury on the right. And so we all have different injuries. So you work with your body today. Arms up to sky. Forward, fold. Breathe in the space of your body. From here, take your time, sink your hips down into chair pose, lengthen, lengthen, breathe. We slowly lower down and lower, 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 all the way down to the mat, lengthen out, find your half bow pose. Keep your core engaged, inhale, exhale, find Navasana. Boat. Inhale as you lower, half boat. Exhale, lift up. Feel free to bend into your knees. You can lower and lift with bent knees at all times. If today this is a huge ask, just hold onto your knees and stay here. Get stronger. 
And you can do this. Three, two, and one. And then slowly come all the way down. Hug your right knee to chest. Take the right hand down, shoulder height, and then slowly guide the right knee across your body. Find a stretch here. Breathe. Inhale here. Exhale, rotate a little bit more. Inhale, come back to center. Hug that knee in. And exhale, switch sides. Inhale, left knee to chest hold. Take the left hand, shoulder height. Right hand is going to guide the left knee across the body. Hold. Breathe into your posture, whatever you wish today. Find that length as you rotate and twist. Breath in, breath out. Coming back to center. Maybe hug both knees in. Rock from side to side. And then slowly lengthen out. Reach your interlaced hands up to sky. Get your feet together and slowly bring your feet close to your hips. You should be able to tickle your heels, I hope. If not, just imagine you are. Press your hands down onto the mat. Slowly lift your hips up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Okay. Stay here and move your spine up and down, or maybe robot your arms. Lift yourself up. Take the right elbow in, left elbow, and then slowly guide your shoulders under. Interlace your hands. Press into the palms of your hands. Pinky side down. Find a bigger lift. Stay here. And breathe into your back. Feel the opening. One more breath in. Exhale. Let go of your interlaced hand. And then slowly come all the way down. One more time. If you're working with just moving your spine up and down, press your hands down. If you're trying to go for that supported bridge with the palms down, pressing down, lifting up, breathe into the spaces of your body, whatever you wish that is best for you today. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly unwind, and we come down, one vertebra at a time. Really nice. Now, you always have options. Option one, you can take a block, put it underneath your sacrum and coccyx, and then have your legs up to sky. If you're right next to a wall, just move yourself next to a wall, and take your legs up to sky. If you would like to come to a shoulder stand, just make sure you come into cow pose first. Walk your hands as high up your back as you can, and then slowly pack yourself up. Lengthen, point your toes, lift up, breathe. Five breaths, four, three, two, and one. If you're in full shoulder stand, come into plow pose first. Interlace your hands maybe, press back, open up your shoulders, gaze towards your knees. If you have legs up the wall, slowly take yourself down to the mat. If you have waterfall, that's when you have the block underneath your sacrum and coccyx. Feet down onto the mat, lift your hips up, and slowly come down. If you have plow pose, take your time, melt your spine all the way down, one vertebra at a time. 
and then lengthen out. Right foot to the right side of the mat, left foot to the left side of the mat. Palms by your hips, open up to sky. As you slowly take Shavasana in your resting pose, wherever you are, find your body, find your breath, feel your practice today. It doesn't matter, whatever you have in your body is slowly going to melt away right here, right now. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let everything go. Stay in this resting position for as long as you wish. Thank you so much for coming out to practice today. Peace.